Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. In the last 3 lessons we have spoke in detail about option greeks understood their formula and we also saw their payoff graphs and factors affecting option pricing. In today's class I am going to call out the exact same formula that we discussed in the last lesson create the same formula in excel sheet and check the theoretical value that i get on the excel sheet and compare it with the practical live market prices so let's dive into my screen create the same formula on the excel sheet and then compare it with live option prices tax cost calculator formula i am using ncfm's otam book advanced option trading book this is certified by nsc and in this book this is option trading advanced module let's scroll down and here you will see the black scores option pricing model at chapter 4 we have the formula for call option and in this call option we have a lot of things like s0 nd1 k e raised to minus rt nd2 the value of nx is also given and then for the value of e it is given for d1 we have a separate formula for d2 we have a separate formula so this is for call similarly for put option according to black scores we have this formula so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create this entire formula on an excel sheet and then from the live market i'm just going to pick up the values and add it in, in the excel sheet and then tally whether according to this formula the values of call and put that i'm getting are as good as the live prices right now in the market or not so this is the excel sheet i will share this excel sheet along with you guys on this excel sheet i'll quickly tell you what all we have done in the last class i've explained that the black scores calculator or the option greeks is based upon strike price spot price time till expiry volatility risk free rate of return and dividend these are the only six factors that can affect the option premium and nothing else and based upon strike price we had delta based upon spot price we had gamma based upon time till expiry we had theta for volatility we had vega for risk free rate of return we had rho and for dividend we had q and what i've done is i've already also written their symbols here in the b cell to identify as per our nsc workbook so strike price is denoted by k spot price is denoted by s time till expiry is denoted by t volatility is denoted by sigma risk free rate of return is denoted by r for dividend whenever dividend is announced we have q so now apart from these six factors if i go to nsc book here we also have d1 and d2 and also the formula for d1 and d2 is also mentioned so what i've done is i've written d1 and d2 let me teach you how to write all this on an excel and how to calculate all of this for now i will try to calculate the value for nifty but before even calculating it for nifty what i will do is i'll just randomly write the price as 100 i'll write the price as 100 here time till expiry also 100 volatility also 100 risk free rate of return also 100 now you will see when i keep all the values as 100 d1 comes to 510 d2 comes to minus 490 the reason why I'm doing this is when you will try to create Black Scholes Calculator on your own to tally whether your calculation is right, is right or not, you should also get the similar value. Also, I have ND1 and minus ND1, ND2 and minus ND2, and then we have call price and put price. So if strike price is 100, spot price is 100, time till expiry is 100 years, and volatility is 100%, risk free rate of return is also 100%, dividend is also 100%, then call price will be 100, put price will be 0. This is the meaning of this entire flow. Now, let's go to the formula and understand what all we have to do. First, we have to mention D1. For D1, this is the formula. IN stands for logarithm, that is log. So, log of, log of spot price divided by strike price plus risk free rate of return plus volatility square divided by 2 into time till expiry divided by volatility square root of t now this is the exact same thing that i've mentioned here so if you see this formula we have log of 
C2. What is C2? C2 is spot price divided by C1. That is strike price plus C5. C5 is risk free rate rate of return plus sigma square so power of c4 that is 100 into 2 that is sigma square divided by 2 into c3 that is time till expiry it divided by c4 that is sigma sigma into square root of c3 that is square root of t so if you check this formula and whatever i've written on the excel this means exactly the same thing and when I add all of this, it becomes 510. For D2, the formula is log of S0 divided by K plus R minus sigma square divided by 2 into T divided by sigma into square root of T. The only thing that changes between D1 and D2 is this minus and plus sign here. That's it. So instead of plus sign here, we have minus sign here. That's all. And when I do that also, you will see here we have minus sign here instead of plus sign and the value comes to minus 490 now that i've got d1 and d2 i also have to calculate nd1 and nd2 because in our black scholes formula we have nd1 that is normal distribution of d1 and nd2 normal distribution of d2 remember our basics of option greek class where we have learnt about normal distribution and standard deviation in detail that comes into picture here and in excel sheet we have ready-made formula for normal distribution now that formula is mentioned here that is norm.s.dist this is an inbuilt formula just have to write this in the bracket mention d1 d1 is mentioned in c7 comma true true means that I want to activate normal distribution. Similarly, for ND2, we'll have normal distribution C8, comma, true. Uh, similarly, apart from ND1 and ND2, we also have to calculate N minus D1 and N minus D2. It will be useful in the puts. So in the call, we have ND1 and ND2. But in the puts, if we go down, we have N minus D2 and N minus D1. So in the excel sheet here i have mentioned normal distribution minus c7 that is minus nd1 similarly minus c8 that is minus nd2 that's it so now that i have mentioned all of this also one more thing that we need in this formula is e e is 2.71828 how did we get e it's very simple e is exponential of 1 so if i have exponential of 1 that becomes 2.71828 now now that i have d1 d2 nd1 nd2 n minus d1 n minus d2 and i also have k s t sigma r everything will write the formula of call price as per black scholes calculator so as per the black scholes calculator the price the formula is call price is s naught into nd1 minus k e to the power of minus rt n d2 i have written the exact same thing here in the call price c2 is nothing but s into d7 that is n d1 minus c1 c1 is k into e to the power of minus rt c5 is r c3 is t into d8 d8 is n d2 right so when i do all of this i get the price as 100 as per this formula similarly put side it is k e to the power of minus rt n minus d2 minus s naught n minus d1 so it is almost the reverse of the call formula in the call formula s naught n d1 comes first and then k e to the power of minus rt n d2 comes second in put it is exactly the reverse and that is why the call and put are also opposite to each other so now here the same formula is mentioned here c1 is nothing but k into e to the power of minus rt into e8 e8 is n minus d2 and minus c2 e7 that is s into n minus d2 and there we go now let's go to nsc option chain this is nsc option chain i'll just refresh it right now we are in the live market 
right now the time is 12.32.28 if i go to option chain the spot price is 19538.95 so let me just add that so the spot price is 19538.95 and now strike price let us say i want to calculate the value of 19500 call and 19500 put the strike price will be 19500 now time till expiry let us say i want to calculate for 31st august 31st august is our expiry today is second so 31 minus 2 becomes 29 since today's day is still there so we have close to 30 days to expiry so time till expiry will be 30 days out of 365 days so 30 divided by 365 which is 0.0821 similarly volatility so if i go to nsc india again we have ili iv represents implied volatility so implied volatility is more than enough it will give you an approximate value so for 19500 we will just go to 19500 strike and try to zoom in a little bit more yes so now we have 19500 strike iv is 15.87 this is for 3rd of august instead of 3rd of august i'll select 31st of august and for 31st of august if i go to 19500 call iv is 8.65 so what i have to do is i have to add here as volatility 8.65 in terms of percentage so i'll divide it by 100 so it will be equal to 8.65 divided by 100 and risk free rate of return in india is close to 6 6.5% so again equal to 6.5 divide by 100 doesn't matter much and then dividend does not matter in case of nifty and as per all these values you will see d1 is 0.60364 and d2 is 0.59405 again if i add both of them it will be approximately 1 so our mathematical formula is getting tallied now call price is 272 put price is 129 theoretically let us see the practical price practically call price is 296 and put price is 176